guys, it's Talia, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you how to get this date night sort of makeup look. I called it date night just because I feel like this is the sort of thing that you would wear on a date night if you just wanna like dress up and get all fancy with your makeup. It's quite smoky, quite sultry, a nice little nude lip, but a liquid lipstick, so you know. It's not gonna come off if you're doing any smooching. Also, just wanna address the fact that I'm wearing a hat indoors. I know that. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, didn't wanna do my hair, so I'll put a hat on. Yeah, if you do wanna know how to get this look and what products I use, then just keep watching. So as you can see, I have literally just done one of my eyes. I haven't put lashes on or anything like that because I normally just do that when both of my eyes are finished and my face just so I can use setting spray and not like ruin my lashes. But I'm just gonna jump straight into this eye. I think I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Product wise, I am using the Sophie and Revolution collaboration. I love this palette and I absolutely adore Sophie. She's one of like my favorite people in the industry. She is like just genuinely one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life, so the fact that she came out with this and Revolution is just unreal. And also the highlighting palette, which you will see as well. These, like, I mean the shades are incredible, but also the pigmentation and blendability is unreal. And the size of the mirror you get in this is like ridiculous. It's the entire thing of this, like obviously if I show you the mirror, you'll see like ring light and stuff, and um, it's a little bit dirty, but like, this is the perfect palette to travel with, in my opinion. We're just gonna jump straight into it and I'm gonna zoom you in. Or out. Hello, we're close to my face. You guys know how I feel about that. Not oh, great. Obviously my brushes are dirty because I have done this eye, so relax if that bothers you. We're gonna start off with this shade here and just pop this into the crease. This is like such a good transition shade because it's, it's pretty light but it does add a little bit of depth to the eye. I'm going to jump in with this shade here and just mix these two together. And I'm just gonna build up this transition shade in the crease and just keep working it in there. I'm then just gonna jump in to this shade here and just sort of mix these two. And again, go into the crease. It's a lot of crease colors. Key to like having a super blended out, like smoky eye um, is transition shades. Honestly, like the more transition shades you use, the easier it is to blend. Sometimes I also just like to tap the edges. That's sometimes a good way to, why do I have black on my finger? Oops. It's a good way to just sort of like blend out eyeshadow. Is just to tap it, like honestly. Works like a dream. I'm just gonna change over my brush and jump in to this shade here and I'm gonna kind of mix it with this one next to it just to lighten it up slightly. Actually, do you know what? No, I'm just gonna jump into this shade. Um, and I'm gonna blend that into my crease, but I'm not blending this one really far out. Like with the other shades, I sort of blend right up to sort of my brow. This one I'm just keeping in the, right in the crease. I'm then just gonna grab this shade here and sort of mix it with the one over here um, and really focus this just on the outer, outer V of my eye, just to build that depth of color. I'm then gonna take a smaller brush. We're just gonna mix the darker colors, not the black, just these dark three here. Um, or the black as well, because I'm pretty sure I just dipped it. Talia, stop trying to do stuff in your viewfinder and actually use your eyes. And I'm focusing this right on the outer portion of my eye and up into the crease also. And I'm just gonna be switching between brushes, just going back in and making sure everything is blended. But I'm just gonna keep building up the intensity until I'm like, this is intense enough, and then I'm gonna add the black. Now to move on to the black, I'm taking an even smaller brush. I'm literally just patting that on the outer corner. Like, do you see? The black shadow in this is so good. And it blends so nicely as well. Like, I'm just packing it on to make sure I get good, like, intensity. And then I'm literally being, I'm like being so soft with my hand. I wish there was a way to like show you the amount of pressure I'm applying. But um, like virtually no pressure and I'm sort of dragging it into my crease a little bit, a little bit onto my lid. I'm applying a little bit more pressure when I get to the lid. And then when I get to this outer part here, I'm being so flipping gentle, it's unreal. And I'm just gonna keep going back in with the black. Just, but the more times I go in, the more concentrated I'm gonna make it and the less blended I'm gonna go if that makes any sense like I'm gonna blend it not as far out in my eye I'm now just gonna pop a brow bone highlight on and I'm going to use the Soph Revolution highlighter palette again obsessed with this like flipping obsessed and I'm just gonna use this shade here um, now it looks like when you look at it in the palette one of the least intense shades like these ones here look really intense because they're really like shimmery sorry please excuse the black eyeshadow there but this one actually is like 
unreal. I mean, they're all flipping unreal, but this one literally is like blinding. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm right on my brow bone. Like, do you see that? Oh my gosh. It's amazing. And I'm just blending that down and then I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and just make sure that it is completely blended into the look. I'm gonna take, uh, where is it? I'm gonna take these two shades here, kind of mix them together a little bit, the copper and the pink. Just gonna take them on the same brush that I used on my um, brow bone. And I'm just gonna pack that onto my lid. I'm then just gonna take these two like lighter champagne sort of shades and I'm gonna pack that onto my lid to get that sort of goldy color that you see over here. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys back out. Oh, in. Why do I never get it right first time? Just realized I've got my microphone sat here in my lap, forgot to plug it in. So this video might be kind of echoey. That's professional YouTuber. Oh yeah, by the way, my chair's on wheels. So, this is great. I can just slide. Oh my God, wait, can I? Oh wait, hold on. I'm getting kind of distracted, but look. Because this is my new setup, so if I do this, I can just slide away or just slide further out of the frame. Wait, hold on. Talia, stop playing when you should be filming. But I'm just going to take the NYX Total Control Drops. Oh my god, I just realised I completely forgot to put primer on. So if you want your makeup to last, I would suggest a primer. Um, Just use whatever primer you want and back to the video. Now... I know, when I did a review of these, I did not like them, but since using them, like since trying them again, I've actually found a way that I really like applying them. One of the things I don't like about wearing a hat, I forget the size of my forehead, so I pull my hat up and it just, like, my forehead just keeps going, and I'm like, oh my god, how big is my forehead? Now, with this foundation, I always go over with a sponge afterwards, just to, like, properly press it into the skin and it just suddenly looks way more natural rather than like cakey which is how I feel the foundation looks when I just use a brush Do I have any drugstore concealer? Actually, I might try and keep this all drugstore Well, we're doing a drugstore makeup tutorial now My brows aren't drugstore but I did those off camera so just bear with I'm just using Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 20 under my eyes Ooh, 20 is very light on me did not know that. It's date night, so you just, you know, you want to look like you actually got some sleep and you weren't nervous or anything. So you just go ham with the concealer. Blend the sleep into your under eyes. Then I'm just going to take the RCMA No Colour Powder and just set under my eyes. <sighs> I'm just going to let that bake a little bit. I'm just going to wipe that away. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face with this powder as well, but only lightly. I'm not gonna bake or anything. Let's just finish my eyes first. I'm gonna go back in with the Sofa Revolution palette and I'm gonna jump into this red shade here, like this darker red, and I'm just gonna blend that underneath my eye. Oh, I should zoom you in again. Every time! Can I just learn which way my camera flipping zooms? Doing this right under the eye. And then just gonna grab a black and bring that on the outer third. Do this all in the wrong order. I'm zooming back out now. Oh my god, every flipping time. Okay, well, I've pretty much thrown out all of my drugstore bronzers, I've just figured out. So I'm gonna use the Morphe Contour Palette and I'm gonna use this shade here because this one actually has a bit of warmth to it. And we're gonna see how that looks. I've never used it before because it's quite light anyway. So I don't think it's too, I don't think it's gonna be too bad. For the drugstore blush, we are gonna be using the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. I don't use this blush anywhere near enough because I actually love this stuff. Like, it's so good. I just don't know why I don't use it more. We're gonna go back in with some more bronzer just because I've just found that I have the BH Satin Bronzer in Tranquil Tan. Never used it before because I completely forgot that I had it. But that's a really nice shade. So, make my face a little bit more, like a little bit warmer. Ooh. So, for setting spray, I'm gonna use the NYX Matte Finish setting spray. Never used it before. Don't know if it's any good. What's the spray like? It's quite a fine mist, but I'm gonna use that all over my face before I put lashes on, before I do mascara, and just before I put highlight on, just to intensify the highlight even more. Doesn't really need intensifying because this highlight is pretty damn strong, but we're gonna do it anyway. I'm just gonna do. Um, I'm just gonna jump in with these two shades here, mix them together, and pop them on my cheek. Oh, do you see what I mean? Like, Sophie 
flipping did that. Yes, Sophie. Oh my God. Like one of my all time favorite highlighting palettes. Like I just, she's like, Sophie's unreal. With superhuman highlight powers on the cupid's bow, a little bit on the chin, but just bam, look at that. Yes. The lashes I'm gonna use, I honestly don't know where they're from, so I don't, I, I mean, they're probably not drugstore, I'll be honest. I don't know, I had it in my mind I was gonna wear these lashes, so I'm very stubborn, and even though I've kind of decided it's drugstore, the lashes aren't drugstore. But you can get, like, ones in the drugstore, very similar to this, from Ilya, because they've just brought out a new range. I'm using the Duo Glue in black. It's my favourite glue. I used to wear lashes literally every day of my life. Like going to Tesco, just going to a supermarket, I'd wear lashes. Look at the difference lashes makes. Like it fully just opens up your eye and like just transforms the whole look. Right, I'm gonna do these lashes off camera and then come back. Um, for mascara, don't think I own drugstore mascara. Well, I do, but because I've moved recently, I haven't unpacked quite all of my makeup. I haven't got to mascara yet. So the only mascara I have available to me is Too Faced, which obviously it's not drugstore. But just use whatever mascara you have. It's really not gonna make much of a difference to the look at all. Fully just don't know where any of my drugstore mascara is, but mascara is one of those things, like just use the mascara that you own. Okay, we're gonna go with Maybelline. So this is Maybelline. Oh, I keep saying Maybelline, it's Milani. This is the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade 38 Stunning. And yeah, we're just gonna apply that mm. I love this stuff I also really like the smell of it this is the finished look I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below become a member of this little family team we have going on it'd be so lovely if you joined also if you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube then my social medias like snapchat Instagram and Twitter are all Tyler my music spelt just like this and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys Get all your bags, get out my house I don't want your stuff around I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong So go ahead and get gone